Why do Bhutto dancers dance in white paint? So if you do a search for Bhutto on YouTube, you might notice that a lot of videos have people dancing and they're in this um, white body paint and oftentimes with almost um, no clothing. And though this is a motif, it is done a lot in Bhutto, it doesn't mean that it's true for all Bhutto dancers. Some Bhutto dancers like to wear colors, some liked to use other things like mud, and some may even like to use nothing and just um, have maybe less clothes on and, and show their actual skin. The first time that Bhutto actually used white was not in the first performance, but in the 1961 performance of mid-afternoon secret ceremony of a hermaphrodite. The group of dancers were made to wear plaster. When they moved, it was painful for the body and it created a contortion in the body. There was actually someone who was all in black, which to this modern day age, this could be rather shocking as people could view it as blackface and actually it probably was blackface because um, there was actually an academic article on this stating that Tatsumi Hijikata's first performance use of this black body was because he was influenced from this Afro-contemporary dance from New York City that came through Japan and he, he really resonated with that so he wanted to I suppose homage that with blackface. I mean this is what the article says I don't know if if this is completely true it's just uh, what one academic is saying is the case. And I feel that the white kept on coming back because of a number of reasons. People have mentioned many things about it. White tends to accentuate the body in, in movements. And if you have no clothes on or just something skimpy, maybe maybe a underwear or the Japanese, the Japanese version of the underwear, um, you can see all the details of the body and if, with the white. It, it, presents the body in a very very nice way and also in Japan with no theater and kabuki they have this tradition with the white so subconsciously this could have drawn in Tatsumi Hijikata to paint his body with the plaster and with the themes of white in more than one culture being that of otherworldly or ghost, it makes sense actually that this would be a common color for Bhutto. But again, you can use any color. Back at the Himalaya Subbody School, there were all the different colors, but mud and different colors of clay are also very nice on the skin. So not all Bhutto has to be white, it is just a motif. And part of what makes Bhutto very special is the creation process and creating something new. I personally like to use white cowling clay because it's very nice for the skin. So you not only have a nice, you know, the white look, but it's, it's uh, very healthy for you. But yes, the body paint isn't 100% essential.